Okay, I am joined by Rich Chekin, president of ASI, a beautiful, amazing, incredible gold dealer that I actually work with. And I'm really, really blessed to be sitting down with Rich today. And what we want to discuss, or what I want to discuss, is the gold to silver ratio. Great topic. Great topic. Um, a lot of people, I guess we should start with what is a what is GSR it? or yeah, gold silver ratio. What is it? How does it work? You know, and we're gonna, I want to get into the history. There's a whole bunch of questions I have for you. But let's, let's start at the basics. Right. What is the gold to silver ratio? Simple. It's the number of ounces of silver it takes to buy one ounce of gold at any okay. point in time. Okay. So then, I guess, first of all, like, where did this come from? Like, the history, I guess, or like, how long has this been around and has it always been applicable? Yeah, so two different things. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been around a very long time. We've discussed privately, you know, that, you know, you go back to the Electrum, which was a bi bimetallic coin. Mm -hmm. There were elements of silver and gold in that. Uh, you can look at people uh, determine how much or tried their best to determine how much gold and silver were in the crust to make of the of the earth to mm -hmm. make sense of that ratio. Um, for our purposes in our modern day uh, uh, economic world, I think you really have to start in 19 1971, mm -hmm. when both gold and silk, well, when gold was no longer uh, convertible to the dollar, mm -hmm. right? So before that, they were all official prices. Once they were freely floating, we start to get some data that maybe makes sense to our world today. Okay, so so let's talk about the the numbers here. What have you seen traditionally since 1971 mm -hmm. in the the differences between the ratio? All right, so the, the, typically you have a high and a low. Okay. Um, and it's as the market's moving from bear to bull and back to bear again. And what we see typically is a ratio of about 80 would signal that we're at the bottom of the bear market, start of a bull market, um, and that it takes uh, about 80 ounces of silver to buy an ounce of gold. Mm -hmm. When you get to the top of the bull market, for the past few cycles, basically what we're seeing is about 35 or 50 to one. Mm -hmm. So that's where you're thinking, okay, maybe we're looking at the peak here now or soon. Mm -hmm. So you would sell on one side and buy on the other? Is that how it works? It depends. What's your motivation, right? Okay. So, so you have people that are buying as wealth insurance, right? Um, there you never sell unless you have a financial emergency. Okay. But what it may trigger is when you're at 80, it's suggesting we're at the bottom of the bear market. Maybe your wealth insurance is cheaper. Mm. Right. If you're profit motivated, um, maybe you want to be buying silver there because it has a wide trajectory. Uh, it comes from a deeper low to a higher high and gives you a greater profit potential than gold. Okay, that makes sense. Now, in April or March, we saw some really extraordinary numbers. Maybe you can explain a little bit about that. Unprecedented. Yeah. yeah. So typically 80 signals the bottom of the market, and I think it did, right? So in August of 2015, we hit 80. Mm -hmm. In March of 2016, we hit 80. Smack dab in the middle, December 2015, were the lows for gold and silver. Okay. Pretty true indicator. Yep. But it, it consolidated and kind of stayed in range for a while. And then all of a sudden, earlier this year, we were at two, um, 127 to 1. Never been there before. Yeah. And people were clamoring to buy silver at mm -hmm. that point because it was just so undervalued compared to gold. Yeah, I couldn't believe it. When I started learning about these, well, I learned about the ratios a long time, but when I saw the numbers for this one, I was like, I'd never seen numbers like that Nobody before. Nobody ever had. That was unbelievable. <laughs> so how do you actually use the ratio? Talk us, I know you touched on it, but talk to us a little bit more on how to use the ratio. And I, I know that you talked about wealth insurance, you talked about profit, but let's flush this out a little bit more. Yeah. Um, so again, if, if you're buying for insurance, you know, you really don't ever want to sell. But 80 is a magic number, 35 to 50 is a magic number, and they signal turns in the market from bear to bull, bull to bear. Um, the people who really hone in on this are traders, okay. right? So if you're at 80 or God forbid 127 to one, you're at a point where silver is vastly undervalued compared to gold. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of people selling their gold at that point mm -hmm. and then buying silver with the proceeds because they get so much more of it. Mm -hmm. And then as the market turns and it moves back down toward a, a lower number which signifies a bull market top, mm -hmm. At that point, they want to be selling their silver to get more gold. So they can reposition their allocation in the, of their precious metals. So instead of looking at it as, I hold gold, I hold silver, 
you looking at the relationship between the two and having it kind of as one position and using it to rebalance. That you actively manage, yes. That you actively manage. Absolutely. So what are the trigger points? I know that you've kind of touched on the 30 and the 80. Is there anything else you want to talk about the trigger points for that? Really nothing else other than just to say it's it's not cut in stone. You know, when you're we're trying to pick the, the bottom of a, of a bear market or the top of a bull market, this is one fairly reliable predictor. Okay. There's no guarantees it will be in the future, but it's been pretty solid, you know, since we've been able to track it. Um, but keep in mind, it is one indicator. There's mm-hmm. so many other things you're going to be looking for. Sentiment, interest rates, U.S. dollar strength, uh, the price of gold, the duration of the market. There's a lot of different things you want to keep in mind there. Okay, perfect. Well, we're going to save those things for a future video. Rich, thank you so much for explaining the gold to silver ratio. I always enjoy speaking to you and learning from you. It's such a great experience. So thank you so much for coming on. My pleasure.